Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you and answer this really common question. Uh, when should I optimize my conversions? When should I optimize my messaging? I get this question all the time. And I also speak with lots of, um, you know, <laughs> SaaS companies, SaaS founders all the time. And what happens is they try to do this way too early, right? Uh, so I'm gonna show you what's the perf what does the perfect time look like? So you're able to get the best results possible, right? Because if you do this in the wrong order, it is likely that you're gonna waste uh, like a few months playing around with this when in reality you should have just focused on um, getting more marketing channels working and, and like a proper foundation in place right so i'll show you exactly what the perfect timing is so you know should i focus on optimizing the messaging should i focus on doing something else right um so if you have no traffic at the moment then there's no point in optimizing your messaging on the website because no one's going to look at it Right. Uh, I know this kind of might seem like common sense, but I really get lots of people that want to change this. They want to create lots of landing pages first instead of just focusing on uh, having more eyeballs looking at their product and what they're selling. Right. That is usually the best thing to do. Um, so, so in case you have thousands of visitors coming in, but you feel like people are signing up, they're signing up for demos, signing up for trials, but uh, you're just feeling like there's not the, lots more people could be signing up, then that's, that's when you actually do it. If you have no traffic at all, if you only, only have like a few hundred visits a month, then there's no point in optimi optimizing it. It's probably just way too early, right? Then if you don't have product market fit, right? If you don't have product market fit, there's no point in optimizing the website. You should probably just be talking to your customers and potential customers all the time. You validate the product properly, get the first few customers, and then you just build the marketing machine later on, right? It's just way too early, right? Um, also applies when you're, uh, the way you sell your products is 100% sales driven. So what I mean by this is you do um, all, everything is outbound, uh, everything is done with a demo, uh, people don't even check the website uh, and all these different things to say sales cycle might be too long. So if this is something that your website doesn't, like is not dependent on your website, then what you should do is just improve your sales process and not have a website in the first place or just have a, a website that acts like a brochure so it's good for referrals and stuff, right? So it's not something that uh, is gonna hugely affect your conversions if you have like something that is 100% sales driven, right? Or outbound uh, driven. Lastly is if you're doing um, uh, like five to 10K MRR, like less than that, uh, it's it's likely that you should just focus on getting more customers, get more money. Uh, because if you don't, if you are not at this stage, it's likely that you don't have enough money to hire other people or to test out marketing channels and all these different things. So until you hit these uh, benchmarks, probably even higher, um, you should probably focus on just getting more customers in the first place. Right. Um, same thing applies to not having less than uh, one or two marketing channels working at the moment. Uh, that is the key thing. If you do have like less than that, if you, you only have like one channel that is kind of working, but is, it isn't working that well, then you should focus all your efforts on making that working, uh, making that marketing channel work better. So when you do go to optimize your messaging, you can see results right away and you can keep stacking uh, marketing channels to, to compound the results over time, right? So when you are a perfect fit for this is when you have like a few thousand visits a month, you feel like product is fully validated, the website plays a role in, in people converting or not because that's how they hear about the product, that's how I say th they sign up, that's uh, how they compare it to other tools and all these different things. You're at more than 10,000 MRR more or less uh, because that usually gives you more money to test out the different marketing channels. Um, you know, it, gi it gives it an idea that you have enough volume um, like on the website to make sure that you, now it's time to start optimizing and not just getting their first few customers. And then you have like one or two marketing channels that are already working, uh, but they could be converting way better, right? You feel like you have thousands of visitors coming in, but they don't feel really fully understand the product. And then that's why they're not converting and therefore you need to optimize that, right? So if you have anything that is in this bracket, then you should pro it's probably too early for you to optimize. If you're in this bracket, then you should pr probably um, figure out if you uh, want to optimize a few things to make sure that you uh, bump the revenue up because sometimes there's some low hanging fruit things that can really bump up your MRR and add a few thousands with a few tweaks, right? So um, if you're wondering, hey, uh, this guy seems like he knows his stuff. I might be wondering if he can help me as well. If you're wondering that, just go to Cortez.design slash apply. Basically what this is, is a 15 minute intro call where I'll figure out, ask a couple of questions and I'll figure out if I can help you or not. And if the timing is right, basically exactly the answer uh, to what we're uh, talking about in here. So is, should you optimize now or should you optimize later? And all these different things. 
Um, I'll, I'll let you know if we are a good fit. I only work with clients that are a perfect fit because other I want to be like super confident that I give them a good ROI. So if you're interested in that, just book the call in there. Or if you have any questions, feel free to DM me. Always happy to chat and see if I can help. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you get some clarity on if you should fix this now or later. And let me know your thoughts if and if I missed anything. Uh, just let me know in the comments. Cheers.